hi guys welcome back to my channel this is mrs g today we are going to be looking at five easy steps to find compass direction if you do not know the compass points please check out my other video with the steps on how to draw a 16 point compass let's get started first thing we have here is finding direction using compass points Usually, your question would be set up like this. What is the compass direction of somewhere from somewhere else? So what is the compass direction of A from B? That is what we have here in this case. So that would be two places. Here we have highlighted the word from. From is important. When you think of the word from, there are different things that may come to your mind. But I want you to think of it in terms of from somewhere, where you're born, where you've started, where the beginning is. In our case, from is our beginning, where we are starting. In this case, we have a young lady who is standing at the center of an eight-point compass. When you get a question, I want you to think of it as if you are the person who is currently on this eight point compass you would be standing at the section where you are starting from so i'm going to go back into that just a little more just to clarify things for you we have the young lady in the center of the eight point compass just the same at the end of each point we have a symbol showing you what is at each end so the question is what is the direction of the church from the girl we go back to the word from from is where you are starting from is where your beginning is so in this case it says from the girl so we are starting from the girl that means your starting point would have north where your head is south where your foot is and then your two hands would have been east and west just picture it that way this question is basically asking you in layman terms what direction would the girl go into in order to get to these other places what direction does she need to go into in order to get to the church we can see that if she goes this way, she would get to the church, so your answer would have been east. Let's try some more. What is the direction of the apple tree from the girl? Again, we are starting from the girl, the direction of the apple tree, or what direction would the girl need to go into in order to get to the apple tree? We can see the apple tree up here using our knowledge of the eight point compass. We know that the girl would need to go in a northeast direction in order to get to the apple tree. So I will do one more for you. And for the others, I would like you to answer them in the comment section below. I will certainly be looking out for your answers. The other one that I'm going to do for you is B. What is the direction of the house? From the girl so the house is here what is the direction of the house from the girl we are starting from her so we are at the center here and the direction that she would need to go into to get to the house would have been down here so that gives us southwest all right so I bet you're thinking to yourself when I'm doing this in class how exactly would I do this on a map well let's try this the question is what is the compass direction of the soccer field from the ice cream stand let us look at the map here's our map we need to find out the direction of the soccer field from the ice cream stand so at the bottom here of our screen we can see the question so we can still look at it to figure out exactly what we need to do so we have two places in our question the soccer field and the ice cream stand we are leaving from the ice cream stand 
So our first step would be to identify our starting point. So to identify our starting point, right here, this would have been the ice cream stand where we are going to be starting from. Once we've identified our starting point, then we need to draw the north-south line at that point. Now think back to the little girl that is standing in the center of the eight-point compass. That is pretty much what we're doing here. So we're drawing our north-south line at the starting point. There we have it, our north-south line right there at where we're starting. What do we do next? Step three, we are going to connect the two points. So remember from our question, we have the soccer field and the ice cream stand. Do you see the soccer field on the map? Here it is. This is our soccer field. So we are going to connect those two points. There we have connected our points. Now that we've connected our two points, we would have completed step three. Next, we are going to insert the east-west line. So our east-west line would have been inserted and we're inserting the east-west line right at the ice cream stand just the same. There we have it. That is our east-west line. And our final, final step, I figure some persons would already be able to guess what the answer is based on the eight-point compass or the 16-point compass. Over this section, we have the compass that is already attached to the map. So you can look at your eight-point compass that is already attached here, and it gives you a pretty good idea of what your answer is going to be. So since we're at step five and we're estimating our answer, we can even put in some other points just to assist us in getting a clearer understanding or a clearer view of exactly what our answer is so that we are completely accurate. Based on this now, can you guess the answer already? I bet you can because you are very smart. Here we go. We identified south at the bottom we now identified east and we know that in between the center of south and east we would have southeast and then the line that we're trying to find our answer for is between east and southeast so our answer for that would have been east southeast so there you have it those are your five steps in finding compass direction on a map so we are going to just give it one other look so we can ensure that we always, always get it right. We draw our north-south line. We draw our east-west line. We connect the two points and that gives us our answer right here. If you have any questions, you can type your questions in the comments section below. Please remember to check out our blog where we have more detailed information on finding compass direction as well as the steps in drawing your 16-point compass. Thank you so much for watching. Please ensure that you subscribe and you like our video and you can also follow us at Natkin Educational Services on Instagram or like us on Facebook at Natkin Education. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.